people react different ways, and the different ways usually comes from the what people believe in and or what they have been taught and or what they've seen other people do or heard that other people are supposed to do. And that's the way people react to any situation. Uh, animals do the same thing. Birds, bees, they watch other birds. They watch, you know, a bee watches other bees and kind of pattern themselves after whatever they see the other bees do. And uh, people are no different. It depends on, you know, there's an old saying, uh, the way that a person is brought up, the things that they are taught, that's most likely the way that they will go. Depends on who does the teaching and for what reasons. So that's that's the way that people will do. Uh, that's the what I, I write about, the United Independent Compensatory Concept, uh, meaning people do whatever they should or they think they should to make up for what's missing. And everything is missing from the time that a person is born. It, what is missing is a prescription for what to do about things. So the little baby in the crib just looks out from the crib and watches whatever he sees these other creature, he or she, sees these other creatures doing. And the baby kind of patterns after that. And then when the baby learns to listen and understand what someone is saying, learn something about words and the use of language and all that, then the baby will go in that direction, depends on who has charge of the baby or any creature. Animals are the same way. Depends on who's in charge of the animal. A dog brought up in a house will act a certain way, according to what? What is that certain way? The way that whatever the trainer tells the dog to do. Rex, go and sit by the door. Rex, go here, go there. Stay, stay. And so Rex does that, because that's all Rex has ever heard. People are no different. The person who is forgiving will tell you most likely that they didn't invent the term forgiveness. They heard somebody say, that's what you should do under certain circumstance. And so if the person hears that and, and uh, mostly hears that and doesn't hear another point of view, the person is likely to do what the person is used to hearing, particularly if that person has heard that prescription over and over and over again. Uh, a person can believe, or most likely will believe, whatever they hear over and over and over again. It's called training. It's called sometimes education. And in some cases, it's called indoctrination. Like a person who is in in the military. Uh, I have been associated with uh, Army exercises and all like that. And automatically, when the lieutenant walks into the uh, barracks, because of the training, that's what they call it, training, something that they tell you to do over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So when you see those bars on their shoulders, you snap to attention. You just automatically do it. Even when you're tired, even when you're weary, you would look up. And when you see those bars on that lieutenant's shoulder, you would just jump up. Why? Because you have been trained to do that. It's called training. And so people usually act the way that they have been trained to do. If they've been in other circumstances where they were trained to do something else, they'll do that something else. 